Now we are on the beach. Up there. Through that chimney gate and up those stairs. What? Those men you are looking for. I didn't even know I was looking for someone. Never mind. You wouldn't understand. So this is the the thin blood. That's new. Glowing eyes of a predator. I like this. Help you. But you know from you know who. Okay, you can go on it. And if you really want to make my night, go ahead and start some shit in there, because I would love it. <laughs> oh no, you wouldn't. I remember that, thanks. Hey guys. Wait, cards? Okay. Okay, yeah. Listen up, girl. Cash money up front, and that is non-negotiable in your case. So we're clear? I have got not one moral fiber restraining me against hitting a bitch should she get out of line. You understand? That said, what can I do to make you feel like the world is your bucket of fudge ripple with walnuts? What do you got? My staff maintains at all times a 24 karat smuggler's board of A plus narcotics guaranteed to make the competition shit seem like a weak cappuccino in comparison. White, green, blues, red, black, pick a color. I'm looking for something different. Got any explosives? Explosives? Fun stuff. You can get yourself a lot of attention that way. I may have something. Why would you need to get your hands on some fireworks? Husband got the house on the divorce. Sure, okay. I got some stuff that'll do the trick. Astrolite. It's like TNT's big Amina cousin with a prison record. I don't like keeping the stuff around. Too dangerous. So I'll let you have it for a little less than the going rate. Anything else you take beside cash? In your case, hell no. Every night I got some skis trying to hang it up on me for a hit. I wouldn't take that shit if you promised me a van or blow. Damn. <laughs> I like my balls where they are right now, thank you very much. Shit. I'm 
see. Me to wear that? Come on! I look like I look like a <laughs> master chief. Hey! Aye! Ow! 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 Where are you going? Where do you think you? Ouch! Ouch! So let's get back to Miramir. First, let's talk with him. Listen, it's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt around here, all right? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. What are you talking about? You mean you ain't here to run us off? No. Is that coming? We're getting pretty sick of it. Someone's citing domain, or in the worst case, is hunting us for sport. What's wrong with you? I don't know. You all seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, hell, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, all right? We seem to be the runts, the mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. I'm new to this myself. How'd this happen to you? I just come to town for the surf tournament. Seems like years ago, but it's, well, been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. Continue. She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself. The way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. And... Go on. She tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. So she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. Well, I realise now how she must have felt. So here I am now, a mystery to myself. Maybe I should look into this whole thin blood thing. Thin blood thing. Well, I hope you had better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. You don't know your vampires, right? That's what Lily tried to tell me. But what I don't understand are the rules and the terms and the reasons some of them are at our throats claiming we're harbingers of the apocalypse. That's what I want to know.
Clinically, yes. But honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. I'll get back to you if I hear anything. Hey! I got your stuff, man! Did you die on me? Uh, yeah? Did you waste those sons of bitches? Yep, they left me no choice. Good. Great. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? So here you gotta... <laughs> You got a possibility to give him his body back. If you didn't, if you do, if you do not, sorry, uh, you lose uh, humanity points. So there. Ah, oh, your lifesaver. I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. What am I supposed to do now? You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a sabat interest. Where do I find this place? Well, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out a thing out at the moment. Is there anyone else who wouldn't know? If there are, I don't know him. But about this Tong. Tong's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tong are feuding. I don't know the details. My takes that Tong thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. But off. But if you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're gonna have to get Therese to call off the feud. Where can I find her? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. I guess I'll see her. Goodbye. And goodbye to you. Thanks for watching this. See you next time.